Jones with Rock in the Valley. I'm Ryan, the camera's back here. We are at the Lazy Dog. I caught them on the cameo walking in the door. Okay, if you guys would introduce yourself without laughing. Okay, so don't laugh. I'm not laughing. Okay, good. Introduce yourselves to us, please. Uh, my name is Justin Zimmerman, and this... Yeah, I'm the wife. Yeah, the my wife name's Ashley. Ashley, and I am the owner okay. of this great, fantastic uh, place of vendors, the Lazy Dog. Okay, now when you say of vendors, what kind of uh, set up are you talking about? We have different booths that um, we have certain vendors that come in and bring their own style to the market. You know, some people do crafts, some people um, uh, shabby chic furniture, stuff like that. They bring their own style to the market. So it's nice to actually, instead of us having our own stuff in here, to actually have a variety of vendors come in here and... Um, bring their own style to the market. That way people can come in and just look for a certain style and they can always come back to the same booth. Okay, before we move into the booths and actually take a look at what's in the store, why don't you tell us what your address is and where you're located? We are on 342 State Street, Hamburg, PA, 19526. And your hours of operation are? We are Wednesday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 10 to 4. And your website or Facebook? That is the Lazy Dog the Vintage Market um, on Facebook. Facebook only. Okay. As of right now. As of right now. <laughs> and you'll be coming along eventually with a... Yes. Oh, yes, yes. All right, so why don't we take a walk through the place, and uh, you guys can tell me a little bit about uh, some things. Now, first off, before I take another step, Rock in the Valley, as you know, is a music-oriented program. So we're going to just slide to your right here mm -hmm. and look at some of the beginnings of music. And you told me that this thing actually works? Yes, yes it does. You have to crank it, don't you? Oh, yes, do. yeah, yeah. Um, it, it takes a little bit. It's not the best sound, but it does work. This is actually from one of our fantastic vendors. She actually found it on the side of the road free. Wow. Now I'm lying. I think I moved this from last time. Did I? No, no, it doesn't work over. Oh, slowly. He likes to stick. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yep, yep. I think after a good Just to let everybody know, this is how we're going to run the next LVMA. We're going to run it all off of this. <laughs> so Gloria, yep, yep, for, yep, for Gloria, yep. Domina, and Rick, we're going to go everything over to 78. Here we go. Yep, yep. Oh, here, here. I think after a good cleaning, he would be. Oh, my God. Holy MP3 Batman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a step back in time. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Why don't we walk over through the door yeah, here and sure. just kind of show us. We'll have to go into every booth. Just kind of show sure. us the whole taste of what we're doing here. Great. Yep. Um, we have a lot of new fantastic vendors entering the market. Um, some people actually are just coming into the whole... Vendor business. Vendors um, doing their own kind of furniture. We have a great vendor here. She's just starting out. Um, she did a fantastic job on her booth. Um, then we move down here. Um, this is Jen. She's actually been doing, she has a couple spots all around, so it's great to have her in the market. She has some beautiful items. And over here we have, um, <gasps> she's also new to the whole market vendor and she's obviously doing a fantastic job. Her I like the tree. Great. I love that tree. Yes, yes. Beautiful. I need to just zoom in on that tree a little bit. Mm -hmm. That is now just out of curiosity, let's ask a question here. Sure. These are very all this stuff is handmade, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Yep. Now what does that ooh, I got my hand in the, in the field there. <laughs> what does that tree go for? How much is that tree? Um honestly I don't believe she's selling the tree. She's selling all the crafts, the, the pumpkins. The crafts, yeah. She does like all that. the crafts wise. Um, she well, makes everything by hand. How much is just anything? Pick um, something like, out. Like these little pumpkins here, little handmade pumpkins. Twelve dollars for the large, three fifty for small. So I mean, this one right here is, is three fifty. Okay, I want the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to her about that. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm a Christmas fanatic. I love this stuff. Oh yes, yes, yes. I, I uh, yeah. This is kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, and over here we have, um, she's um, great um, to the market here. Uh, she does a lot of, these flowers are actually made out of wood, and what she does is she dyes them. So everything is handmade in your uh, your device, uh, not your device, in your shop here, but the people 
me just turn around to both of you get together here. The people do not actually have to man their booth. Correct. No, they do not. Correct. Yeah. Okay, we're so they, here all the time. They all get their own vendor number, and then we, we're here all the time. They can bring their stock in here. You know, if somebody buys something, we have jars that the tags get separated into their own jars, and we, we inventory and, and keep everything going for them. I see. Okay. So it's not, we're not creating a flea market feel where you actually have to be here. We want a more cozier home type feel to it. And so that the vendors don't feel like they have to be here to watch your merchandise. We're constantly, somebody is always going to be here watching over their items. Now, your grand opening is when? Uh, next Thursday, November, November 1st. 1st. November 1st yep. is your actual big grand We're opening. We'll be here 10 to 6. Okay, let's take a look at just one or two more booths in there, yeah, and sure, I think sure. that's about it. Okay. Uh, wow, God, this is really some neat stuff. I love it. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, this is uh, Emily and Brayden. Um, they're also at a couple different markets. We're really happy to have these guys. She makes all the furniture. Her boyfriend helps out a lot. He's very, very into supporting her and what she does. Uh, they hand paint all their mason jars. We it's have, very nice to see a young couple that actually work together in uh, in crafting like this. It, it is, especially for their age. I think they're in their early twenties, late teens, early twenties, or really? in college, and mm -hmm. and uh, they're both in this together. And it's it's awesome having, especially a young man, actually do stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a. It, there's been some changes in how the society is and yeah. how us men have been represented. <laughs> yeah. No, no. So, but uh, they eventually grab onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at Lisa's yes, stuff yes, here. Yes, yes, Lisa. Wonderful Lisa. Yes. I, I got to back away from, I have to get over yes. here and get a real good picture of her stuff. This is Lisa Snyder. You know, there's a little story behind Lisa. And I, I don't know if you guys actually know. Lisa is from Kempton, okay? I met Lisa several years ago, and uh, I met her at Boo Fest. It's one of the events that Rock and Valley tends to go to. And Lisa introduced me to Alfonso Todd. Lisa's one of the people that actually gave Rock and Valley the kick to get started. That's great. And so and I, I find it kind of cool that here she is giving you guys a kick. Giving us our kick. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So she's definitely a, a person that gets things started. Yes, yeah, she, she is, is so, a great, terrific yeah. friend. I mean, but she won't get on so camera. For us. She but she won't get so on much. camera. No, nope. no, no, we couldn't get her on camera. Shy so. Lisa. <laughs> and I did catch some footage of her when I was doing a walkthrough, but I've been instructed that I must remove that. <laughs> so, uh, but this is some of her work. Yeah. Just some wonderful stuff here. Oh yeah, beautiful items. Yeah, what bothers you? You know, I wasn't supposed to say where is she. Okay. There's, there are some bicycles in Hamburg that don't have front wheels. And they're just sitting around. With <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> they come to Lazy Market, they can buy them back. They can buy them back. There's flowers on them. Yeah. So, that's it. I love the, the whole feel in here. It's, it's very homey. It's very nice. Yes, you got the music is. going. You know. Uh, you wouldn't have noticed. You wouldn't have realized this place a month ago when we first moved in. It was totally empty. Nothing. No walls were up. Open space. And it was actually a print shop before here. So. It, oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we converted it to that and to uh, what it is now, and and just a month. Wow, that's a lot of work. Now, yeah. just briefly, you guys were in. You guys were up here. You were yes. doing some kind of work. Okay, then you went to uh, Florida, and that's where you kind of got the idea of doing this kind of stuff and brought it here. Yes, right, we yep. didn't know anything about vintage markets until we went to Florida, and well, there's there there's many vintage markets down in Florida. Um, so we actually had stepped into a store one day just randomly to see what they had, and uh, we became a vendor the next day, and that's where we started. And we just walked into a store, and that's how okay. it started. Yep. And, and she was and, a great... Uh, friend down there yep. she helped us get into the market teach us everything that we know today basically and we've just learned a whole lot along the way that's great yeah. well I'll tell you what we're up to just about 10 minutes that's about the, the length of something like this okay, okay. people are going to enjoy looking at this we're gonna put some music behind it and well there's music here already but uh, anyway I'm gonna get this published out there for you okay. and I thank people for joining us for here at Rock in the Valley and uh, I know we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. Uh, these people are one of our first sponsors. So I wanted to make sure you guys got a good look at them and see what they're doing. So come on out here, see the lazy dog. I know you think, oh, hamburgers forever away. That's only a couple of minutes out west on Route 22, exit 30. And they're really easy to get to. They're right on route, old Route 22.
So uh, come on out, see what's going on here. Tell them that Rock in the Valley sent you. And thank you guys. Yes, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Okay. See you guys up on the internet. Right, bye bye.